Hello everyone and welcome back to Sea Turtle Cove, our marine park that we are trying very hard to take good care of. You guys have been helping out so much by voting on how we use the funding here at our special park to clean up the park and get it ready for the eventual arrival of the sea turtles. I am going to be so happy when we finally have some sea turtles show up. So far, I'm really surprised but very proud. You guys have actually spent our research funds by voting on the straw poll that's linked in the video description of every every one of our Sea Turtle Cove videos on all sorts of other things like making sure we have maintenance workers to clean up the beach, making sure we hire a biologist, expanding the algae forest and our kelp forest that we have so that the future turtles will have plenty to eat, and also making sure that the coral reef has been started and we have plenty of room for fish to start showing up. So I'm really, really proud of you guys. You didn't throw some poor turtles in here when they had no food, no shelter, nothing to take care of them. You have really built up the bottom of the ecosystem system that is needed to support them. So good job! The food pyramid is almost secure! If it's secure enough to add sea turtles in or not is going to be up to you guys to decide though. And for now, we actually need to take care of a different kind of food chain, different kind of food pyramid, and that is with our guest! So if you guys remember, last time we had a disastrous weekend when we had the 4th of July and the guests were starting up picnics absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness, and they're so hungry! And they were leaving all sorts of snacks on on the ground because they have been bringing their own food to the beach since there's not enough to eat. Well, you guys voted overwhelmingly that they actually need educated because people have been bringing so many beach balls. They've been starting up bonfires to cook barbecues. They've been playing in the water. They've been chasing off the birds, really hurting the environment without even realizing that they were doing so. So today we are going to be able to add in some educators. So at least two or three wonderful educators to teach people here at the marine park all sorts of different facts about the wildlife so hopefully they won't unintentionally hurt the wildlife anymore and you guys also voted on the second item the second highest vote item which we always do a bonus of depending on how many likes you guys left on the last video was for adding more food places more places for our guests to be able to eat and so we will be adding in three places for the guests to eat at since you guys left 380 almost 400 so it was almost four places for them um, 380 likes on the last video so that means we'll have three new places for them to eat as well as the educators so I'm super excited about that and then also really really quickly if you guys remember last time I said hey leave a paragraph describing what you would do if you were a biologist here at the park and then we will turn you into an actual biologist here at the park oh my gosh you guys the response was amazing I don't think I have been so happy in so long to be able to read paragraphs describing what it would be like if you spent time here as a biologist at the zoo or well it's not really a zoo at the marine park and so without further ado here are our biologists doing their jobs we have biologist Rose all of these people are named after people who left really awesome comments describing what it would be like to work after the 4th of July disaster here at our marine park so we have biologist rose biologist elizabeth who left an absolutely amazing comment i hope you guys will all go back and read it because she actually time stamped what her schedule would be like if she was a biologist here in the zoo and i was just blown away it was totally awesome then we have keeper owen and owen is actually i think a boy based off of the comments but i can only i only had so many biologists that were girls and boy or boys i had more girl biologists so anybody with like this little symbol next to it then they were supposed to maybe be perhaps the other gender but hey we'll just roll with it we also have biologist darby who left some awesome comments biologist brayer biologist badger biologist mikey and biologist miller and those are the people who were here and they are the biologists all of them have been renamed to reflect you amazing biologist from the comment section section so so much so thanks so much guys there we go oh, tripping over my words all right and apparently grieve number six oh no grieve number six you were stuck under something no wonder they couldn't reach you come over here little one do you need some food you're really hungry should i move you i should move him closer here here eat some insects quick stuff your little mouth stuff your little mouth full of those insects you know i guess the thing is if we didn't add any places for our guests to eat then technically their picnics could attract more ants so we're gonna have to remember the way that the ecology is constantly working it's a living system here in our sea turtle cove hmm 
Oh my gosh, you're cute. All right. Well, that being said, let's go ahead and see how our cove has potentially grown. So it looks like the Grebes area, even though we still have beach balls everywhere, since the guests do not have anywhere to really play just yet, they don't have any entertainment options. So they're still bringing beach balls and kites and all of those things to the beach. But it looks like they haven't started up any more bonfires and they haven't had any more picnics because rumor has it we will be feeding them soon. And they've actually stayed a little bit further away from the birds and now that we're going to be adding educators in who can hopefully teach them how it is important to leave these little grebes on their own and give them a little bit of space and hey hey ladies biologist come and scoop this poop we need it for research that's what you're supposed to be doing oh my gosh that's hilarious that they're just sitting there all right but the grebes seem to be doing a little bit better we'll kind of clean up after them there's nothing really new over here it just looks like they need tended to so let's go check in on our kelp forest we haven't had any animals that would eat the kelp in the kelp forest yet. So I'm pretty sure that, oh, and there's still a car tire. Let's kick it out of the water. All right, I'm gonna kick this car tire right out of the water. So get out, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here car tire. What? It's an invisible car tire. No wonder I couldn't find it to get rid of it. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we'll take care of that car tire in a little bit. But let's go and check in on the kelp forest. It's been a little while since we've been down here. All right, looking good, looking good. Wow, look at all this growth, you guys. Wow. So there hasn't been anybody over here to eat the seaweed just yet. And as a result, it looks like the seaweed forest is really growing. Look, you can see the old growth right over here and it's breaking out into new growth. This is wonderful. I wonder if anybody is going to be moving in pretty soon because there is plenty, plenty of seaweed. The kelp forest has grown so much. There's plenty to eat, so I wonder if we're going to be seeing something move in over here. Or I wonder, do you guys think, wow, how much is there? Let's kick our way to the surface. Look at all of this. Oh, look, it's one of the lampreys. It's swimming around looking for food. It's looking for a host to feed off of the blood from. Hmm. But it looks like this has grown quite a bit. Do you guys think that this is actually going to be a big enough area? Do you think it has enough patches of seaweed to be able to support perhaps a seaweed eating sea turtle? Hmm, what are you? It's a fish. We're starting to get fish showing up. No, and why are the jellyfish dying of illness? <laughs> I guess, I guess maybe actually to be honest, jellyfish wash up on the beach all of the time. So if I'm being completely brutally honest, perhaps that is just the cycle of life, you guys. The jellyfish also are a little bit they're to break character for a second they're coded weird so the fact they're dying all the time may not be something we can really do anything about we might just need to live with it all right we haven't had any storms for a while so the only old logs that have washed up and the only branches are the ones left from last time Hmm, and there's no trash over here, so thankfully I don't think we're going to get any rats that would start eating the rare ivory-billed woodpecker eggs or anything like that. Alright, but let's go check on how the coral reef has done. So, oh gosh. Oh, look at the jellyfish! He has food! He has food! Jellyfish actually eat fish! Oh gosh, and oh gosh, there's another fish! There's so many fish everywhere! All right, so it seems like between the, the kelp, the little kelp forest that we have... And between, oh, I wonder if the coral reef has been encouraging new fish to move in. Really, coral reefs, oh, died of old age. Those grebes do not live very long, you guys. Oh my gosh, we might actually have to actively encourage shorebirds to arrive. <gasps> Look, it's more fish. There we go. It's just like we said, when you add in all of these coral reefs, it provides tons of little homes and safe little niches where the fish are going to move into because they're going to have a lot to eat hiding here in this little reef. I love it. Look, there's even some plankton. All right. So fish and plankton seem to be moving in at our coral reef. Has the coral reef grown a little bit? I have a feeling it has. Look, there's a whole bunch of fish hiding in here. Oh my goodness, the fish of the coral reef. This is so cool. All right, where is everybody? Look, there's more down here. All right, so there's tons of fish hiding in this little coral reef. You can see him just like poking his little head out right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wonderful, wonderful. So it looks like this place is growing very well. There's a brain coral. Here's all sorts of other little corals. Coral reefs do not grow very fast, but I have a feeling that this one is just very firmly established. The waters must be just the right temperature to be able to support its growth. Wonderful, this is good. This is really good. So we have little plankton pieces and we have little fish swimming around everywhere. 
All right, so I don't know if that's enough fish. We're gonna have to look around. Oh my goodness, but it's so pretty. And you guys are gonna have to decide, do you think this is enough fish? <laughs> no, the crested creep has died of old age. Why? They've died so quickly. But do you guys think this is enough fish to actually support any of the fish eating creatures that might start showing up? Is it enough to support our sea turtles? And if we feed, oh wow, there's a whole school over here. Look, and there's tiny little ones whizzing by. Wow, that's enough to feed somebody. So if the sea turtles don't show up soon to start eating these fish, then I imagine somebody definitely will. There's even fish down here too. Ah, oh, there's fish everywhere. So they're really, really loving this. Oh, I just swam right into a jellyfish. So they are really, really loving this coral reef. Well, that's wonderful, you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and pop out of the water. Looks like that's doing well. I can't believe so many of the crested grebes have died of old age. They like just got here. Man, I guess that means that actually the 4th of July impact with the barbecue where it scared off so many of our grebes had a much bigger negative impact than we anticipated. So we might actually have to put some active work into seeing if we can attract some shorebirds or we'll just have to see if the fish aren't over harvested by something right now, if they'll have a chance to continue spreading and then maybe we'll get some of the birds that actually eat fish starting to show up. So, hmm, we'll have to see you guys. That's an option. You can always put the research money that you can vote on today into trying to get up more fish too or trying to bring more fish in or so that you have like that supply of fish for whatever chain in the ecosystem wants to eat it or you could put some money into bringing in new shorebirds but for today it is time to start stop dilly-dallying and we are going to come in and we are going to start educating our guest and that is going to start with education stands so let's go ahead and get started you guys we're going to put in a stand right here and then let's go ahead and we'll get some wood planks put under here as well. This is going to be the first little spot that we will provide them to be able to come over and learn about the beach in a way where they can stop threatening all of the wildlife. No, that's the wrong, that's the wrong wood. Oh, I have to figure out what, what wood planks to use down here so we can keep it consistent or else I have a feeling we're going to get yelled at. Is this a good wooden path? Will this do? Yay, we found it. All right. So let's go ahead and put this wooden path down right here. And then we'll go ahead and put the educator down so we can hire three educators. So there's one educator and it looks pretty boring over here, but we can always vote on adding in some decorative pieces for our guests or even adding in more landscaping. If we put more landscaping in, I mean, technically this side of the beach can be empty if it wants to. And there's plenty of, of things over here, but you could always vote on adding in like more seed buckthorn and stuff like that by where the guests hang out, because I'm sure that would improve our star rating. And don't forget, we are trying to get to five stars. Oh, look at this. Hopefully everybody, oh, sweet. Yay, I think everybody's gonna start, sir. I wish I could get him out of the water, but we don't have a lifeguard yet. All right, don't know what he's doing. All right, and let's go ahead and we'll add in another educator over here. All right, there we go. And if you guys wanna leave comments pretending to be the educators, we do have two, three educators that we're gonna have. And then I'm gonna add in one more educator, maybe down here to kind of protect the grebes, to protect the shorebirds about why we shouldn't go past this zone. So I'm gonna put the very last education station over here and I wonder if we would be able to protect our animals better if we actually even built a fence over here. Hmm, that might be a good idea, actually. So that might be an option on the straw poll tonight, you guys, to be able to block off an entire area with some diligent biologists sitting here so excited if they could just see one of the shorebirds show up who can protect any of the future shorebirds and we could actually transform this area from a potential viewing zone to a shorebird area. But if we don't do that, then eventually people might want to come down here. So that's just, it's not a thing that could be good or bad, really. It just depends on what our goal is going to be. If you think that the guests need to be able to come over here and play in the water and build sandcastles and things like that. By the way, Reese, thank you so much for leaving a comment on the last video, imagining me just like stomping on sandcastles going, no fun. I laughed so hard at that comment. I love reading what you guys write that's so like immersive about this, this place. Oh my goodness. But yeah, if you think this area would be better served for our star rating and for our responsibility to the public by turning it into a, a play area, then we can do that. But if you think it'd be better 
are served by making it into a safe place for the shorebirds to come by, then we could do that as well. So lots of options, lots of options on things to vote on. All right, and there's our third educator right there. So now we have three educators who are going to be helping out and it looks like some of our fish are getting pregnant too. Where's the educator? We just hired you, woman. All right, we have we have a stray educator disappearing somewhere. And we can actually add in a few little items. Not too many, but we this was the main thing you guys voted on. And it was the thing. I have never seen the percentage be so high on voting for something as it was here. So we can actually add in some education stations, some discovery kiosks that are related, like photo kiosks and things like that that are related to teaching our guests about the natural wildlife in this area. So let's actually put down an aquarium with jellyfish because we do have jellyfish here and it would probably be a good idea for people to learn about those jellyfish. So where should we put this? Maybe over here? Let's put it over here. I think this would be a really fun spot to allow guests to come up and then they can check out this aquarium with jellyfish, which looks awesome by the way. Look at this. Education for our guesties right there. They can interact with the aquarium for jellyfish and then we can put down like three other items that they can learn from. You know, I think a photo kiosk would actually be a good idea because then we could show people, hey, if you want to take pictures of things here at the zoo or the park and then show them off to us on our Facebook, that's good PR management. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that too. So let's put down the this piece and then it looks like we can get rid of these branches then because we don't want the branches to be in the way of where our guests are going to be walking. And then let's see, let's go ahead. Uh, I need the wooden path again. There, good. All right, there's that. And then, yeah, it looks like the fish are actually giving birth. So that's pretty interesting. And so, whoops, that's the wrong wooden path. And so we are slowly but surely expanding an area where the guests can come and interact with different items. And then we do get to add in one more education station. And education is always something we can add more of in the future. And I wonder if it should be the headset kiosk. You know what, you guys? I think it will be the headset kiosk. This is actually a really kind of revered educational item. It can educate people quite a bit. But because you guys voted so in unison everybody the majority of people voted more on education than anything else i'm going to say we had a lot of funding so we're going to put in a little headset kiosk that people can come and they can get and they can listen to the sounds of the sea if we ended up with some dolphins we can record the dolphins and sell the dolphin tracks for people to be able to listen to and they can listen to advice about how to stay safe around seabirds and how to pick up your plastic <gasps> look we have somebody who's buying one of the things Ah, oh, this is so cool. The headset kiosk is actually one of the best educational items that you can possibly get in the entire game. So this is very, very thrilling. I'm very excited to see that. All right, there we go. And we're actually, I know this seems a little odd, but we're actually going to put down a donation station. We don't need to worry about funding. Nothing the guests can, can give us in terms of funding can make up enough funding to keep this place running. We rely on, on government assistance for funding and scientific grants and whatnot. But by putting down one of the donation box kiosks, and we'll put down this little one that looks like a, a little monkey in the sand, then that will actually help us keep an eye on and gauge how much education the guests are getting because they'll start making educational donations. So we'll go ahead and put that little guy down there and just see if anything happens. If not, no big deal. All right, and now we get to add in three places where the guests can come and eat. I think, oh, and all of the crest, ah, there's people in the water. Maybe we do need lifeguards. And guests are starving, and now we can add in three places for them to eat. I think we should probably, because it wasn't something that was like majority voted on for crying out loud, jellyfish. I'm begging you. Here, come be happy in the, in the coral reef, please. All right. Because it wasn't something that people voted on like the majority, we probably can't build a restaurant this time around. But, and we, you know, a gift shop is something else that might be considered like education or touristy that we could add in. But we could add in some healthy food options. A tiki bar. <laughs> oh, it's actually really cool looking for over here, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that's kind of fancy. I think that's like an upgraded, an upgraded viewing area that we could have. So there's an option for the future. Let's do maybe a salad food stand. What, what should we put over here, you guys? Probably something 
Uh, probably something that would really make the guest happy to eat and would kind of be themed. Maybe not the sugar cane. The sugar cane sounds like if we voted to like give the kids things. The sugar cane sand sounds like something. Um, but definitely maybe an ice cream cart. I could see an ice cream cart being very useful. Do we have any kind of food anywhere? We have, well, actually, we already have an ice cream cart. Never mind. I think we need real food is the thing. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Maybe pretzels. Pretzels sound like something you would find on a boardwalk. So we'll go ahead and we'll put down a little pretzel. Oh, it's our first anniversary already. You guys, we have been open for a year and we don't even have a single sea turtle. I wonder if we should change that sometime soon. All right, let's do fruit cups. So pretzels and fruit cups are two of the food items that people can now find in our zoo or our park. I apologize. I keep calling it a zoo. I'm misspeaking. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. And then I do want to find like maybe this juice drink stand. That's probably another one of the upgraded food perks that we could we could spend stuff on in the future. <gasps> Pineapple seafood stand. Oh, that's another one of like the upgraded food things we could add in the future. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And then maybe the kebabs. I think we can get a little kebab restaurant added in. The shabash kebab stand. I think we'll go ahead and add that in. And then we don't have anything. I wish I could put down like decorative items and everything, but that'll have to be for the future. All right, so we have the aquarium. We've got educators everywhere. We have got people buying out the headphones in droves, it seems. Viewing the animals, viewing the animals and wanting more places to sit. So our guests are still pretty miserable. They're still starving. <laughs> They're lining up <laughs> in droves for the food though. So hopefully this food will help. In the future, we'll have to decide if we want to give a restaurant a license. Look at them all line up here. In the future, we'll probably have to decide Okay, that was a little bit interesting. That shish kebab just almost shish kebab somebody in the head. Didn't anticipate that. Cough, cough. But, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, I didn't know it did that. In the future, we'll need to provide more places to sit. We might need to expand the boardwalk. We might need to build a child's play area. We might need to hire a lifeguard to pluck people out of the water. We might need to put down more bathrooms. There's a lot that might need to happen for the guests. But don't forget, the whole point of this challenge, other than reaching five stars, is to see 100 sea turtles born. So do you guys think we are ready to support some sea turtles? It's up to you. Vote in the straw poll in the video description below. And remember, if you guys leave a like, then the second highest thing that's voted for does get some perks. We added in these food places only because of the likes that you guys left last time. So thank you guys so much. I can't wait to share so much more of this with you. If you have ideas for different things we could put in the straw poll, to improve our sea turtle cove, then let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.